Hello everybody, my name is Bear Cozy. Today it's time to grind some more. Dawn is coming, particularly for me, today is the gear charms. Now, of course, they do rotate every single day, and we're gonna talk about that. We're gonna dive in, we're gonna farm some gear charms as well. But first, what I want to do is I want to welcome you. I want to say hello. If you don't know me, my name is Bear Cozy. I strive to make not only entertaining, but also educational videos. I like to make account progress videos, and I like to make guides as well. And what I want to do before we jump into that is let's go ahead and do our free daily summon. And we're going to do that. There's our free summon. Hopefully, we get something good. I just pulled some really, really good heroes. One of them was my most wanted hero. If you didn't see yesterday's video with the limited summons, Check that out. In today's free shard, we got Rajago. I always make sure I pull my daily shard because I want to take advantage of that. That does help me get to Mercy. But what I really wanted to do today was get into Dawn is Coming and grind some gear charms. Now, if we look on the bottom where it says bonus, these do rotate. And my understanding is since they do rotate, day one was the bonus Jelly Golden Pumpkins. Today is day two. By the time you watch this video, it'll be day three which is gear charms, then we have element stones, and then we have gear charms, and we have another mix. So by the looks of it, if this follows the same pattern as the Gorel event, we do have a few more chances to get some gear charms. So that is what I wanted to talk about, and that is what we're gonna do today. Right now, I'm farming weapons, helmet, chest, and boot charms, which I have plenty of weapon and helmet charms. I do need some boot charms, and I'm really, really looking forward to rings and necklaces. And then on the last day, of course, there's a mix, and you can figure out whatever you're lacking, whatever you did not farm enough, you can go ahead and grab that. So right now, here is what I'm doing. Right now, I'm going to be going ahead and farming the boot charms, and this is going to be on mission 10 too. Now, by the time you watch this video, the rewards will be rotated, and here's the team that I'm going to be using. Brand, Erendil, Nathalia, and Sierra. We're going to go into it with that team, and we're going to farm some charms. That is what I'm going to be primarily doing for most of the day, getting myself a lot of boot charms so I can level up some more boots, and that's going to be really cool. Now, as I mentioned before, by the time you watch this video, the gear charms will most likely be rotated to the next thing, but you do have another chance to get gear charms, which is going to be on the last day. And then right before that, we are going to have the event for necklace and ring charms. And that is really what I'm looking for. So one of the things that I struggle with is leveling gear. But not only that, the biggest struggle for me with gear is, of course, the accessories, right? The rings and the necklaces. And right now, I'm at the point where I'm actually converting from crit rate rings to crit damage rings. And that's helping out a lot. That is allowing my heroes to get a lot more crit damage output, like my newly built Sierra. Now, Sierra right now is in the Magic Pass, and uh, I usually call it the Hero Pass because you get a legendary. It's a legendary Hero Pass, but she is in the Magic Pass. For 10 bucks. you can get yourself at least a 10 bucks US. That it is. That's what it is for me. For 10 bucks US, you can get yourself Sierra, who is amazing. Now, she's probably not the best to farm versus Ganglo. She does get deflected, but Sierra is really awesome. And I am going to go ahead and farm myself a ton of these charms here. And as you can see, here is the team. I'm using Brand. I'm using Sierra for the extra nukes, even though those attacks get deflected sometimes. I'm using Nathalia, of course, as Nathalia is my main damage dealer. And then I'm using Erendil for fun, because every time my heroes crit, Irondale gets an attack, he gets a joint attack, so he's a lot of fun to use. He doesn't do a ton of damage, but he's very, very consistent, and that consistency works really, really well in the banker, especially the light banker. So as I mentioned, I'm going to do a couple of these, and then I'll show you what I got going on with Sierra. Let me run this one more. Let me run this last wave. Now, Sierra and Nathalia are both water heroes. They're probably not the best versus Ganglo, considering Ganglo is a wood element so they are a little bit weak they do have a much higher chance to get deflected on their attacks but i do like seeing nathalia and i do like watching sierra's ultimate and uh i really like their animations and right now plain and simple i'm just lacking some really good red damage dealing heroes so right now i do need i need valeria i think she'd be awesome so let's go ahead and finish this off and then I'm going to go and talk about Sierra, and I'll show you what she's got going on since she is in the Magic Pass. And she is really, really good because her special procs AoE 
anytime the enemies go down a half health, an enemy goes down a half health and her, and, and her special procs, which is really, really good. And I have her in an average set. There it goes. It got deflected, but you get the point. She did proc a few times already on the past few waves. And if you have not seen it, it's really, really cool. It's an extra attack because it's on her passive. And the animations are awesome. So let me go ahead and end this. And then I want to show you my Sierra since she is in the Magic Pass. I am starting to get some boot charms. I did use up all of them. And in my previous runs, I did get a few legendary ones as well. So I'm going to be farming this for most of the day. But let me show you my Sierra. We'll take a look at her. As I've mentioned, she is in the Magic Pass. If you don't have her, if you're considering getting her, you can go ahead and grab it. You have to get to level 30 to get there, but she is totally worth it. And let me show you what I got going on with her. I already had a Sierra, and I do have one copy. She has ascended once. I can ascend her one more time. I do have a Hierarchy Arcana here available to use, and I do have one more ready to purchase most likely very, very soon from the banker. That'll make it two. And then, of course, the Magic Pass. That'll give me one more copy of her so I can ascend her. And right now, I actually have her in an Avarice set, which is awesome. Grants this character 50% bonus damage when attacking over an area. Can only be triggered once every round. And of course, it works really well with her skill, with her passive. Her passive procs, whenever an enemy's health is under 50%, she deals 100% damage to all enemies. And that can only be triggered every two turns. But that is really, really cool. That can be triggered on multiple waves. So if you kill the first wave and it procs, it can actually proc on the second wave as well, which is really neat. So she is really, really good. And I did have her in... Um, and I do have her in an average set, as I mentioned. The boots need a little bit of work. I did have her in a crit damage ring, and that is actually working out really, really nice. It has two crit rolls on it, or excuse me, it has two speed rolls on it, which is really good. Resistance is okay. Flat defense is not so good, but it is a six-star legendary crit damage, and it does need to get rolled to 15. So I am looking forward to farming the ring charms from the event right from the dawn is coming event because right now i'm just completely out i just leveled most of this gear most of this gear is fresh i leveled her weapon 215 this one's really nice it has a triple roll on crit rate six star weapon level that to 15 level the jacket to 15 because it rolled once on crit rate what three times on crit damage that is the absolute best you cannot go wrong there the helmet i have at 12 it did double roll on crit rate so that is really really good i'll most likely keep it there the boots I've already showed you, and then the necklace I actually had, this one actually had, it has a triple crit roll on it as well, and one crit damage roll, and right now, she still has room to improve on her ring. I can roll it to 15, and I believe that stops at 50, which is going to be nice, right? It's still got 11% crit damage to go, so with that in mind, what I want to show you is right now, I have her at 270% crit damage. Unfortunately, she's at 99% crit rate. That is the best that I could do, but I think that's really, really close. That's probably close enough. And once she gets another 11% from the crit rate ring, or the crit damage ring, I should say, once she gets that extra 11% crit damage from the crit damage ring, that'll put her over 280, and that's going to be really, really awesome. So I'm really looking forward to the event. I'm looking forward to farming the Dawn is Coming event. And as I've mentioned before, let me pull up the picture. As I've mentioned before, we do have Element Stones, Gear Charms, which is on Day 5. I'm not sure what's going on on Day 6. Day 6 seems to be missing. I did get this from one of the members in Discord. I don't have my own Discord. I'm part of another Discord. I know some people in chat have been asking me, what's my Discord? I actually don't have my own, at least not yet. That's not something that I wanted to do. I'm part of a few different Discords that I like to hang out and participate in. And I got this from one of the members in Discord. So big shout out to him. Thank you so much. We seem to be missing day four and day six. I'm not really sure what's going on there. However, if this follows the same event as the Gorel Slam, we can expect to see another rotation of gear charms and then another rotation of the mix. So we do have at least two more days that we can farm some more gear charms. And my advice to you would be to farm as much as you can. I did not take my own advice on Gorel's Fire Slam and I regretted it. Now, during Gorel's Fire Slam event, what I ended up doing is I actually ended up farming a little bit. But I did not know how important it was to farm gear charms. And I did not know just how beneficial 
that event was for gear charms. I have friends that farmed over 300 gear charms. I've even seen a thousand, which is excessive. That's probably all night and day type of thing. I don't have those kinds of resources. I farm usually manually, so it does take me a long time. While I hang out, I watch TV. I just do my 10 multi runs. But I have friends that have farmed hundreds of gear charms and they came in very, very handy because then when it came time to roll gear, they just used up all of their gear charms that they accumulated and that worked out very, very nice for them. Now, of course, as you know, rolling gear does take a long time and getting good rolls takes a very long time as well. I can't tell you how many pieces of crit damage rings that I rolled to get one really good one. And that's exactly why I'm planning on taking that one, 215, because it has some speed, it has some crit rate, and I believe it's got something else on it. And it is a six star crit damage ring. So usually what I'll do, if you're not familiar with rolling gear, what I'll do is I'll roll it to three. If it has a good roll, I'll roll it to six, or I'll just slap it right to six right away. What you don't wanna do is roll it to 12 or 15 and then have it roll really, really bad, and then have regret it because it takes a lot of resources to roll something 215. So with all that said, I want to encourage you to farm as many charms as you can, as many resources as you can, as many pumpkins as you can. And as the resources start coming back around, as we start going into the rings and the necklace charms, and then we go into the mixture of pumpkins, jelly, and different gear charms as well, I would encourage you to go ahead and farm as much as you can because looking back, if you take advantage of this, and I can tell you firsthand from my own experience, I farmed some gear charms during the Gorel Fire Slam event, but I did not farm as much as I wish I had to. So during this one, I'm gonna take advantage of it. I'm gonna farm as many boot charms as I can because that is what I really need. And I am going to be farming a ton of rings and necklace charms. So the point I'm trying to make is I want to encourage you to take advantage of this. A little bit of extra farming will go a long way because getting materials to enhance your gear takes a very, very long time. You need a lot of dungeon runs and this is a very easy way to get gear charms for of your choosing, right? You can pick and choose which stages you wanna run. I'm running the Ganglo stage, whatever this was, stage nine, I believe, chapter nine, whatever it was, chapter 10, something like that. That is what I'm running because I do need boot charms, and that's where the boot charms drop. Now, after this, we can take a look and see, it is gonna rotate again. By the time you watch this video, these gear charms will not be available when you are watching this video. If you're watching this tomorrow, as I'm gonna edit this and upload it for tomorrow, I am a little bit behind on reset, as I typically am. My game reset is at midnight for me, and I am sleeping, and then by the time I get up, do what I gotta do, record a video, edit it, Typically, my video has already gone live from the day before, and the one I'm making today is for tomorrow. So when this ends, I wanna take you through and I wanna run you through some of these stages and the gear charms and see what's going on where. So right now for me, this is what it looks like. Weapons on stage seven, stage eight has the helmet, stage nine has the chest, and then stage 10 is the boots. And I am gonna be farming boots as that's what I really, really need. Now, as I mentioned, as the gear rotates and as the rewards rotate, we are coming up on a rotation of jelly, pumpkins, gear charms, and accessory charms as well, rings and necklace. So be sure to keep an eye out for that. The idea is the same. Figure out what you need, figure out what stage it drops in, and take advantage of it for as much as you can because once it's gone, you're gonna regret it Trust me, I know. So that's going to do it for me. Thank you so much for watching the video. Leave me a like and a subscribe down below. Also, leave me a nice comment. Doing those three things will help the channel to grow. I thank you so much for watching the video, for hanging out with me, and I'll see you in the next one.